people usually look at the salaries that some of the cybersecurity job pay and think, man, damn, that must be a really good job or a really good career to get into. Or maybe they just read an article about the skills shortages in cybersecurity and thought, maybe that's a good line of work for me to get into. Or perhaps someone watched Mr. Robot or Hackers or any type of TV show where the career of hacking has been glorified. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what it's actually like to work in cybersecurity. But instead of just giving you some details, I'm gonna break it down into advantages and disadvantages. Let's start. So the main advantages of working in cybersecurity, number one is salaries and skills shortages. Yes, the salaries for cybersecurity are really, really good, even for an entry level roles. And you probably have seen some of my videos where I talk about some of the ridiculous salaries. And I'm talking 200K, 300K even for some of the senior roles. This is a really good time to be in cybersecurity and you will be well compensated if you've got the right skills. There is also a skills shortages in the sense that the field is growing so fast and we don't have enough people to fill up all of these roles that are in need so if you're someone who just finished high school and you're looking to study something that will give you a good and rewarding career I think cybersecurity is one of those just based on the number of opportunities and salaries the second advantage is the work itself, it can be interesting. Yeah, look, it's not like the movies. It's not an over glorified where you know, you're sitting in a dark room and you're hacking state nations, although these roles exist within the army and within intelligence organization. However, I say these are the exceptions, not the norm. Usually when you work in cybersecurity, you will work for a professional company, whether it's an IT or, sub or a service provider, or you will be working in somewhere like a bank or a retail company company so the, the work itself can be interesting and um, there is so much that you can do with cybersecurity so you can be a penetration tester uh, where you try to break into systems and find any weaknesses and try to remediate those weaknesses or you can work for example as a network security engineer where you work with firewalls with IPSs with proxies to stop attacks from coming into the company from outside um, you can also be a security engineer where you implement those solutions um, um, you can even be a software security specialist where you are a programmer and you use your skills to write more secure software. There are so many fields. You can even do security architecture. There is literally no end to what you can do with cybersecurity. So it's not just one job where uh, we all do the same thing. No, there is so many specialization within cybersecurity. So th there is room for everyone. If you're someone who likes coding, there are jobs that need that. If you're someone who doesn't like programming but you like to work with systems, there are also jobs like that or if you're someone who don't even like technology and you like the people aspect of it so you can work as a sales uh, engineer uh, selling security solutions you can work in risk and governance and um, in cyber risk specialization so there is room for everyone and the work can be interesting if you find what you really like um, the third advantage of cyber security is it can be rewarding and that depends on the company itself depends on your boss and the situation but I can tell you from my own experience I've been in places where the work itself was very interesting, uh, where we had to stop some serious cyber attacks. I'll leave a link uh, in the description below about that. I talked about it in a video. Um, you can also be working in consulting where you help clients improve their cyber security. You find mistakes and you help them fix that. Um, the work itself can be really fun and really interesting if you find the right company and the right role. Uh, if you're someone who enjoys studying and growing, there is always room to grow. No one knows everything in cybersecurity. So if you're someone who enjoys the process of learning, this will be a good career for you. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of working in cybersecurity. You know, it's not all rainbows and flowers. There, are, there is a dark side to working in cybersecurity. And I'm gonna start with the first one, which is a bit of an oxymoron. So because the salaries are good and because of all this, uh, you know, marketing and hype around cybersecurity roles, unfortunately it attracts some people that are not supposed to be in cybersecurity. Let me explain. So there are people who get promoted uh, just because they've been in a company for a long time they don't know anything about cyber security but they like the idea of cyber security so they end up in management positions and they ruin it for everyone uh, you also have people unfortunately with some fake experience attempt somehow fake their way into some senior roles and again I've seen it happen in organizations before when an individual like this gets hired in a senior role and everyone resigns as a result uh, I've seen this over
over and over again. Uh, you see cybersecurity is still a relatively new specialty. So not everyone understands what it actually means. So there is bound to happen. Uh, you, there are, it's bound to happen where, in some situation, someone can fake their way into a job interview if the interviewer uh, doesn't really understand cybersecurity very well. So unfortunately, this creates some toxic environments for both people. If someone fakes their experience to get into cybersecurity, they're also not going to be happy doing that job. So it's bad for them. It's bad for everyone around them. So this happens in cybersecurity more than other fields like in medicine for example you need a degree in medicine in accounting you need a degree in accounting in cybersecurity there are so many ways and paths to get there so unfortunately it can attract the wrong crowd and this is a problem that's unfortunately not going away anytime soon the second disadvantage is kind of related to the first one. So um, there are so many people in the industry who don't really understand what cybersecurity is. So to some people, cybersecurity is just a matter of ticking boxes. It's just a IT audit exercise, and they assume this is cybersecurity, which is absolutely wrong. It's one tiny aspect of cybersecurity. Um, some people think cybersecurity is all about penetration testing and hacking. Again, they're also wrong. Again, it's one small aspect of cybersecurity. So the field itself is really broad. Um, it's really complicated uh, to really understand what cybersecurity is end to end. You need years and years of experience. And I must emphasize that experience cannot be in one company or doing one thing. So if you've only done pen testing, all your opinions and ideas about cybersecurity will come from pen testing. If you've only done IT audit, you will think everything is IT audit. So it's really important if you want to be a well-rounded individual, is to work in multiple specialization. Maybe not early on, like try to work in one specialization for a few years, get a solid foundation, and then move uh, sideways. Uh, but again, unfortunately, this exists in cybersecurity. As I said, it's a relatively new field. People don't really understand what it is. And this can be demoralizing for a lot of good professionals who join a company really excited to do stuff. They get hired, for example, as a security analyst. And once they join the company, they realize the job is, has nothing to do with being a security analyst. This happens, unfortunately. So make sure that you really know what you're getting into. Ask what the day-to-day -day tasks are like. Don't just look at the title, at the salary. Make sure you know what your day-to-day -day will look like. The last disadvantage, and I don't mean to come negative, but I, it has to be mentioned, is as a cybersecurity professional, you will be in situations where you have to say no to team members, to users, to even senior management. As an example, you might be a part of a project where there is an application that needs to go live, and as a cybersecurity professional, you're asked to do a security assessment whether this application is ready to go live, and in some situations, it simply is not. So you have to say no, and you will get a backlash. So so you are not always going to be popular in your organization, so you need to have some good diplomatic skills. You need to know how to frame your answers, but you will be in situations where you're constantly saying no, and people don't exactly celebrate that. So if you're a programmer and you developed a good application and it goes live, you will be rewarded for it. But if you're a cybersecurity professional and you assess that application and you said it's good to go, you're not always going to get that reward. So there can be that aspect to it. You will also be in some situations where you have to go on call, work after hours or work weekends, especially if you are in an operational role. So things break down, you can get a breach in the middle of the night, um, firewalls go down. So just be prepared that some roles will need some after hours. Um, if you do penetration testing, um, that can also happen on weekends because not everyone is happy for their systems to be tested during working hours, unless it's an application, for example, that didn't, uh, that's not live. But but expect to work weekends, expect to work after hours. This is not really appealing to most people, but it's part of the job. Not every job in cybersecurity requires you to work after hours and weekend. Some do, just be aware that they exist. So it's not all uh, high salaries and inflated titles and hacking. Um, this is part of the reality of the job. I hope this video was uh, useful for you. I tried to give you just a hint or an idea of what it's like, but just be aware that there is no amount of YouTube videos or blog posts or Reddit that will tell you what the job's like. You have to try it for yourself to know if it's for you or not. And 
if you happen to try a job and you're not happy with it, it might be that it's just this particular company that is not right for you. So don't be afraid of changing jobs. Don't be afraid of um, talking to people on LinkedIn, get, get their opinion, explore different career paths. As I said, it's a really broad career, cybersecurity. Don't narrow it down to just one thing. It's cybersecurity, it's not just penetration testing or network security. It's a lot broader than that. So have an open mind, try a few things until you find what you like.